Hello everyone and welcome to Memory Matters for All Ages. I'm Janelle Nichols from the Gables of Hudson Assisted Living Residence. Uh, we welcome back Kathy Kilpatrick, a speech language pathologist uh, with 40 years of experience and uh, we're thrilled to have you back with us again today. Thanks. She's a national speaker and author of over 30 publications and last week we talked about multitasking and the complication that technology has brought to our multitasking and Kathy I have to tell you it was humorous we did get a couple comments about your new iPad here <laughs> as far as the ironic part of talking about technology right. but that was kind of fun. We'll see if I can keep it up and not mess it up and you know that'll be a whole other session. <laughs> That's right but it works as long so as you still give your audience their attention that's and right. that's what we're going to talk about today mm -hmm. is attention. Right. Tell us a little bit about. Okay well we've talked about and this is the the second week of the month we're talking mm -hmm. about uh, mild cognitive impairment, mm -hmm. normal aging, early onset Alzheimer's disease, mild dementia. And it's so very important, as we talked about last month, I think one of the cornerstones of helping our memory when those are, things are going on is attitude. You know, you gotta be willing to show up and do some of the work, and I see people who do, and I see people who don't. And then the next cornerstone is really paying attention. Because if you don't pay attention, you're not going to get the information mm -hmm. that you need. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I want to take this moment to remind everybody that at the end of the uh, program, please watch uh, all the way to the end because you'll see information there about Kathy's website and her blog, and you can go on there and get more information about what we're talking about today. But Kathy, I think that we would be remiss if we didn't talk about um, listening and hearing in this uh, subject that we're talking about today. Is it true what I've heard that in order to connect to what somebody's telling you or to um, a fact, you need to listen five to 10 seconds? Correct. Can, can you elaborate on that a little bit? What happens is you've got your car keys in your hand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you put them down on the run. Mm-hmm as you're thinking of something else, saying something to someone and going to do something else, mm -hmm. you have not noticed, mm -hmm. you have not paid attention. So if you deliberately look, that's gonna take a couple of seconds, mm -hmm. or deliberately go to a place and put them down, you've given the attention. Mm -hmm. So there was a um, novel I read once, and the man was afraid that he was going to have Alzheimer's disease and because it was in his family or whatever, and so he turned around and would hide things all the time, mm -hmm. and then try and remember where he put them when he got home from work. Oh. And what was he doing? He was deliberately paying attention to what it was that he was doing, and you're so right mm -hmm. about the hearing. Mm -hmm. And there's, I'm, I'd like to do a show down the road, I just heard some research about hearing loss and memory, mm -hmm. and so I think we'll talk about that right, another time good. and maybe give some of the research that's going on with that because um, yeah. you know 65 percent more of the older population has hearing loss absolutely. and if you don't hear it mm -hmm. verify it then you're gonna have some problems well I I think you're absolutely right and I think that one of um, uh, the keys is paying attention to like your per your example of the car keys is perfect because how much time do we waste looking for the car keys looking for our glasses right. looking for our phone um, uh, it's was funny um, in the past, I could always pick up the house phone and call my cell phone when I couldn't find my cell phone. Well, we recently shut down the house phone because it never rings anymore. So now if I misplace that phone, I'm really up creek without a paddle. I just have to search and search till I find it. But it is, uh, the key is paying attention and remembering, all right, I remember I've laid my car keys or I've hidden my car keys or I've hidden my cash or whatever in this certain spot mm -hmm. and kind of making a, uh, a mental note. A mental note. A we mental don't do connection. That. We just expect so our brains to pop in. Yeah, right. Not anymore. Can. No. Okay. All right. Well, give us a little more today on this okay. subject. Very important um, subject. I like to do quotes, and I think in this program, because I could talk about this for hours, and actually I've done a six-hour program on listening and the art of paying attention. It was just absolutely a fabulous experience with a lot of interactive listening. Uh, so a quote can give you a lot of information. Attention is the intention to live without reservation in the here and now. 
whether it's putting your car keys down or being present for someone in a conversation. And that's by Timothy Miller. So what I want to talk about today for a couple of the points is it's important for all of us to pay attention. We've alluded to the fact that if we are becoming less attentive because of our technology, what that's going to lead to down the road. Okay, but if someone has been diagnosed with like a mild cognitive impairment or early um, memory loss, one of the main things I'm going to work on when I know the person has the attitude that they want to do something to help themselves is trying to work on paying attention mm -hmm. and not you know being distracted too often. So that's very, very important because what happens is you've got this underlying anxiety if you know your memory is changing. So you've got this little tape in your head which is distracting you so you're not paying attention so that you can remember better. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this with some people recently that I've been out with socially who have a little bit more memory difficulty. I think that it's really important to pay attention to that. Here's another um, quote by Deepak Chopra, and I like this one. The quality of one's life, yours and mine, mm -hmm. depends on the quality of attention. Whatever you pay attention to will grow more important in your life. Mm -hmm. Last time we talked about the etiquette and in terms mm -hmm. of multitasking and this all feeds into that as well. It really, yeah. you know, people want to know what vitamins to take mm -hmm. or what brain games to do to improve their memory like it's a quick fix and it's not. These things are so important. Our brain's a wonderful thing mm -hmm. but we have to have some basic skills. Mm -hmm. It's not just going to happen. You know you take things for granted. I mean I work with people with swallowing problems and then mm -hmm. you've got a 90 year old who all of a sudden is having trouble swallowing and it's like well why should I have trouble swallowing because I've done it my whole life mm -hmm. and so we really need mm -hmm. to notice that. So here are some of the benefits of paying attention. First of all, you're going to be more competent. You're making less mistakes. And we notice with multitasking and with not paying attention that we're going to have more mistakes. You're less likely to forget things, so your memory is going to improve. And we can, this is huge in this day and age because of what's going on and not paying attention is your personal safety. And we mm -hmm. did some re read some of the research right. last time right. about people who right. are having accidents, more people in the emergency sure. room. Why? Sure. Because they're not paying attention. They've got mm -hmm. this distraction. Mm -hmm. What happens is if you're in the present moment and, you know, look up mindfulness. That's a word that's typically thrown around. Um, and it's such a valuable concept. And there's a lot of research that talks about, you know, meditation and being able to just stay with something and calm that mind. And it's helpful mm -hmm. to all parts of our body, including our memory. And our relationships can be more rewarding. Well, two things uh, that I jotted down as you were talking. First of all, I think we are a fast food society. You said, uh, and I don't mean that we just go to McDonald's and Wendy's, but we want we want it right now. Mm -hmm. All right, um, we've got a drive-through bank. We've got drive-through um, um, dry cleaners, mm -hmm. not just drive-through food. We mm -hmm. want it now. So I'm having this problem. Give me a pill. Give, give me a pill to fix it right mm -hmm. now. I'll take mm -hmm. that pill every mm -hmm. day and I'll mm -hmm. be fine. Mm -hmm. And I think people have to realize that it's not quite that mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. The other thing mm -hmm. is we are in the throes mm -hmm. of the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And would you not agree that as far as attention and making mistakes and not paying attention is so much magnified mm -hmm. um, in the holiday season? And I always, I always chuckle at the holidays. I think, and I don't mean any slight to the gentleman in our audience, but I think <laughs> it, uh, the holidays, for the most part, it falls upon us ladies. Mm -hmm. We have so much to do all of the shopping. I shop for every member of the family. I do their personal shopping for them too. But it's, um, it's very noticeable at the grocery store. And if, if you haven't noticed it, I would challenge you to be alert to that. You'll see so many ladies at the grocery store talking to themselves as they're going through the aisles. And I think, I, I know I do that because I'm trying to concentrate. I go with a list, but still I have so much on my mind that I forget things. I'm making mistakes mm -hmm. because I, I've got to pay extra attention because there's just so much to do. Right, right. You know? So. That's why you end up getting home and then have to go back to the grocery store that's for the exact, one thing you needed that that's was the key exactly ingredient. Right. Or the, thing, the one thing you went for. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Mm -hmm. So give us, give us some tips okay. to get us through Another this quote um, by William James, the faculty of voluntarily bringing back a wandering attention 
over and over again is the very root of judgment, character, and will. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you just a brief little thing to focus on this week, okay? Okay. Notice when your attention has shifted. So let's say you're working on a project and then a worry comes into your mind, something someone said to you, uh, whatever. The phone rings, somebody has got your attention. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so your attention is shifted. So what you need to do is accept, but notice that it's shifted. Because what happens is often you're doing something and then you get distracted, then you get distracted from the distraction, and pretty soon you don't even remember two minutes later what you were doing, mm -hmm. okay? So then gently redirect your attention back to, oh, I need to finish this blog that I'm writing, mm -hmm. and no, it would be a really good idea to get start dinner started, but let's leave that and finish what I'm doing and just come back to, you know, the research shows that we make less mistakes and it takes less time. So we need to figure out what our interferences are. Are. Do you do several things at one time? You know, and we've talked about task switching. Mm -hmm. um, are there environmental distractions? And if you've got a household full of people, you know, that's certainly going to be there. Do you hurry from task to task? So like you were talking about, right. if we're going here, right. there, and everywhere, then we're going to certainly have mm -hmm. more difficulty. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we just operate on automatic pilot and we go from here to there. What distracts you so that you don't stay on target to finish what you're doing? because as we get older with normal, normal aging, we don't like to multitask. And so if we put it on ourselves by our own choice, we're kind of shooting ourselves in the foot, mm -hmm. you know, type mm -hmm. thing. And then do you do those kinds of things like you were saying in the movie when you're tired or bored? So we're not paying attention to the movie anymore, and mm -hmm. you may have missed a key part, because nowadays anything mm -hmm. that you watch on TV, <laughs> you know, if you look away for two right. seconds, it's right. all over. Right. So those yeah. are some tips. All right. Very good discussion. And in our last few minutes, I want to remind everybody to uh, watch at the end of the broadcast. We have Kathy's website on there, her blog information. You can contact Kathy. Plus, you can go on these sites and get more information about mm -hmm. what we uh, talked about today. In closing, Kathy, give us our marching orders. Give us our homework okay. and your quote that I always like so much. Thanks. Um, just eat a meal without the TV, without reading, drive someplace, no phone, no music, no book on CD, which the other day I did that. I was just thought, oh my gosh, I'm so used to this in the background, and I just shut it off. It was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. It was crisp, and I just went and drove, and I actually took not the main route, but kind of went you know, another way, so that was good. Give a person undivided attention. Just commit yourself when you sit down, don't turn this off, and I'm going to spend 20 minutes with this person. I had a friend come over the other night, and we watched a show that we both like, The Voice. Mm -hmm. And so to sit there, which is very unusual for me on a weeknight, to sit there for, actually it was three hours, because it started at eight, for three hours in conversation with someone and not to be running and doing other little things was really refreshing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can say learn something new each day and then share it. So again, just being present can be a big big thing. Very good. All right. All right. Very good. You want to quote I here? want to quote. I think we're yes, about I was out of time. Say, our closing okay, moments? we've all heard what of Scott Peck and I when I looked up it said M Scott Peck, so I didn't realize Scott wasn't his first name. You cannot truly listen to anyone or do anything else at the same time, and do anything else at the same time. You cannot truly listen to anyone and do anything else at the same time. So Very good. at the upcoming holidays, be present and enjoy your moments. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back next week. Now go and make it a great day.